Why does Bangalore flood? By now you have heard the experts on TV, seen WhatsApp forwards, heard the neighbor Lantu. But this is Bangalore, the high-tech city. How about we find our answer in the cloud? Imagine a cloud coming from the southwest. This is what it looks like. The red is high and the blue is low. In the center of Bangalore is a high ridge and there are valleys on both sides. The highest point is high grounds near Raj Bhavan, 945 meters above sea level and the lowest point is Varthu, 865 meters above sea level, a difference of 80 meters. That's huge. It's like a 25 floor building. Here are the roads we built and some reference landmarks. Outer Ring Road, ITPL Main Road, Sarjapur Road, Old Airport Road, Belandur Tank. Now let's see what happens when the cloud drops its raindrops. The first drop lands near high grounds. The water flows to Alsur Tank, then to Tamlur, then to Belandur Tank and eventually to Vartur. That's one happy raindrop. The second drop lands near Kabul Park. It goes by Ijipura and to Belandur Tank and back to Vartur. Second happy raindrop. The third raindrop lands near Koramangala. It goes to Agara Tank, Belandur Tank and again Vartur. Seems like all the water is going to Vartur Tank. And that makes sense, it is the lowest point in the area. Let's see the fourth raindrop. It lands a little south of Tin Factory. It manages to cross Outer Ring Road. It reaches Old Airport Road and then, oh, it's stuck. Something's happened here. And the fifth raindrop. It lands a bit to the east of Harlur. It reaches Sarjapur Road. Gosh, it's stuck. It manages to cross. It tries to go past ORR. Gets stuck again near Eco Space. It finally crosses Ring Road, above the road, reaches Belandur and eventually reaches Vartur. Happy drop. And the drop stuck at Yamlur. A day later, he also finds his way ultimately to Vartur. So we have five happy raindrops now sitting in Vartu tank who will now get together and flow all the way to Tamil Nadu. They say water has a memory. It always follows the same path and there is no mystery to it. I agree this was a very simplistic approach to understand why certain parts of Bangalore flood. If you come in the way of the water, there is a good chance you can get flooded if you haven't taken precautions. If you'd like to know more, just wait for part two where I talk to many experts to really understand the nitty-gritty of why certain parts of Bangalore got flooded. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Namaskaram.